Who's Scott's Inverts? I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Today we are heading over to Spa Spiders. Luke from over Spa Spiders invited us to pop over, do some rehousing of some exceptionally rare spiders, some beautiful spiders that he's recently got in. I can't wait. We're going over on the train. But anyway, let's go. I hope the sound comes through on this, but on the way to town, on the way to the railway station, we've come through this park, right? Now this whole park, um, back when I was homeless, I stayed here quite a few times. And just as I'm walking through it now, it just bring, bringing back a few memories. Now let me show you that just down there, and then you kind of, you t turn around to the left and walk up, up into what's known as Hillfields. Um, when I was doing um, drugs and all that stuff, that's literally where I went. Uh, so this area has got quite a few um, triggers for me, but it's been a while. Pretty proud of the fact that I can walk through here without having those triggers kind of setting my mind off. I'm very grateful for where I am now in life as well. In a true fashion, we're running a bit late. Uh, if I miss this train, we've got to wait another hour. So, fingers crossed, we can get to it pretty soon. Ain't got far to walk though, it's the other side of those buildings over there. So, fingers crossed, we can get in, get a ticket, and the next part will be me sitting on the train. Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I am over with Luke at Spa Spiders. Um, everywhere, front room, bedrooms and everywhere is covered in stuff because he's getting prepared for the London show. So please bear that in mind as well. Uh, Hello. There he is. <laughs> so this is Luke. Uh, these are the boxes without the inverts. Um, so yeah, Scott's kindly came over today uh, to work a day with me. We're going to do bits of rehousing. Um, I got a whole load of new spiders in. Uh, unfortunately, not for sale. Uh, but... Stunning spiders! Stunning spiders! <laughs> so, uh, we're just setting up some tubs for these now, so I really like to use the really useful boxes. Uh, and then we've got some arboreal setups. Um, just simple sweet jars for rearing some Postleferia that need a little rehouse. We're going to get on top of that. Um, and then just some additional show prep. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a nice few clips for you. The man is that OCD that holes have to be perfect and in the same place <laughs> on every single tub. It just makes me happy. It makes me happy. So for the first box, I think I think I've drilled. Oh god, it, maybe two thousand holes today. So I've got that bit out of the way. But I have to use one <laughs> as an example. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. Keep one as the example, like as a template, and then literally copy it. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Okay, so we're going to start. So I'm going to see if I can get three rehouses done in the one video. So first up is the Panther Beatus Ultra Marinus. Uh, these are from Ecuador, uh, and they were smaller species of the Panther Beatus. So usually with Panther Beatus, you get the big, bulky spiders. These are actually smaller species. So these are mature females. They may get a little bit bigger but not too much bigger. So we're just getting this girl out here. Hopefully we're gonna behave. On the lives we have a squeaky chair. Today I managed to find the squeaky floorboard. Okay. My God. <laughs> so we keep uh, keep contact, like, uh, like Dave, shout out to Dave, doing it the beastie way. Yeah, we all love a bit of Dave. Okay, so. So she's in. Is that a bit of purple on there? Like? It is. So if I get my oh torch out my pocket, 
the uh, you can note the purple and even hints of blue and the femurs just there. Oh my god! So that's one female. Stunning, absolutely so we're gonna stunning. So we're going to see if we can get the second one done real quick in the same video. I reckon we can do it. Yeah, there's an empty pot there, so I'm going to try and steal that one on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is female. Luke's number laughing, two. but he knows I'm going to try. <laughs> I trust you, Scott. I trust you. I know, mate. I know. <laughs> okay, it's a female number two. Are you going to be as well behaved? Let's hope so. Yeah, I think you are. We haven't had any hair kicking Whoa. yet. <laughs> that carrot pace. Just when, she, when they open up the legs and that just pops. Okay, so you're not wanting to go quite in there. Almost there doesn't go. look real. There we go. Okay, they're quite well behaved. She is. Yeah, I might need two pots for on the way out. <laughs> um, so just... again, so they're the Panther Beatus Ultra Marinus. Um, I'm not very good with the common names. Presumably from Ecuador, presumably because it's a Panther Beatus, I'm going to guess it's an Ecuador bird eater. Um, I'm not so sure, but if you see, she's just leaving this beautiful silk just there. And then she's gone straight into a hard. So these are just uh, simple setups. Uh, this is a mix of substrates, really hold the moisture. So these spiders like it cool and they do like it uh, relatively humid. Um, so what, what substrate do you use, Luke? Because ev everybody is, is, yep. is, is going to ask what this is. So this uh, is a mix of topsoil and Irish peat moss. Uh, so I've recently been advised to use this substrate. Um, and to be honest, early early thoughts of it i absolutely love it it might even need to be a uh, mass rehouse of a lot of my biggest spiders or more of my uh, more humidity um important spiders because it does hold the, the moisture really really well and it looks really natural um but it's a simple setup it's a water dish she's got hide <laughs> And uh, there we are. And what's the mix again? Just so a... it's um, Irish peat moss. Irish uh, it is peat. quite hard to obtain. Uh, you might need to look around at a few different garden centres. I know you can order it online, uh, but it holds the moisture really, really well. You can feel it, yeah. It doesn't feel wet, it just feels damp. No. Yeah. So that awesome. is the awesome. uh, Panther beetus. And then next, uh, another species which like it uh, humid, relatively wet actually, um, is the Megaphobema mesmeles. Uh, Go so on, so, say, say the moist word. <laughs> moist. <laughs> uh, okay, moist. <laughs> um, so maybe you shouldn't say wet, it depends, it depends. Oh. Um, so yeah, these are relatively rare. This is a uh, subadult female. Stunning. These are from uh, Costa Rica. And they're relatively hard to breed, actually, as well, I'm told. I'll give it an attempt, hopefully, at some point down the line. Are Again, when those in? legs open up, I think that's when the spider just shows the colours and everything that they've got. Go on. And we're in. Ah, oh, they're being quite well behaved today. <laughs> so these spiders like it very cool, actually. So um, I'm... I'm toying with where to keep this female. Uh, it might even be staying in my front room. Um, if it is going to be in the spider room, it is going to be on the floor. Uh, not even on the racking. On the floor or maybe by the window. These spiders like it cool. Keeping these spiders too warm, um, they're not going to do so well. So yeah, they're a very cool species. She is just beautiful. Not only do you get those like big orange patches, you get the orange stripes on the legs as well. Just look at those eyes. <laughs> a little bit shy. <laughs> Stunning. So yeah, again, a very simple setup. Uh, same substrate used. I've actually used uh, half of a plant pot for this. Um, I may rehouse her into something a little bit bigger down the line, but for now, this is just perfect. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so next, um, we have the Pamphabita Solaris. Um, so we're going to house uh, my bigger female 
uh, into uh, this 18 litre really useful box. Uh, it is worth mentioning, um, I wasn't so prepared today. Shock. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shock. I mean, it happens, it happens. You, dad... you've, you've also failed to say that this one is Scott's. Well, yeah, well, yeah. You would be so lucky. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, but Little yeah, it's worth mentioning that uh, I haven't actually got any moths. Um, I can go out there and collect some. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the show's in a few days. I'm probably going to just buy some from the show. So if you're selling moths at the London show, shoot us a message. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into this one. So as I say, this is the Pampabetius uh, Solaris. A little bit um, bigger box. A little bit bigger box. Um, Stellaris, though. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to uh, have these. Um, I have a couple of females, um, and males of varying sizes, so hopefully I can at least give a uh, breeding an attempt. Um, I've been meaning to get this species for a long time, uh, as well as the bee roots, Simoxagorum. Um, I've managed to get a couple of them this year, which is amazing, and I didn't think I'd have the opportunity to pick this species up just yet. So to have this species and to be able to work with this species is, um, I'm very fortunate, I'm very fortunate, so we'll uh, get right into That's it. That's an understatement. So uh, this is one of the females here. <laughs> Even without the light on, she's amazing. Are we going to behave? They like to do this where they will just stand still and all of a sudden you'll get the movement. That carapace again is just. Are we gonna. Stunning. They do like to stand their ground. She's a queen. Go on. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't want to leave her oh, little God. box, I must say. She must literally just be every every keeper's wow. absolute dream. Yeah, it's it's one of them species of spider whereby if you hadn't actually seen that in person, you could probably probably think that's photoshopped. Yeah, oh, easy. That's with a light on, and then we'll have a look with that. Oh my god, most spiders you need to put the flash on to pick the colours up. This one looks better without the flash on. And it is quite interesting to note that just on the tips of the feet here, you still have got that little sort of like lightning bolt of the orange on there. Stunningly beautiful. Yeah, this is a species I've wanted to have in a collection for a long time now. So to have these spiders in the collection, yeah... <laughs> I'm excited for you. Like I am excited. <laughs> I am excited. I mean, it, like I say, it was with them and the bee roots that I wanted to achieve this year. And yeah, we're coming up to May now, and to be able to work with these spiders is really something else. I mean, that is literally just sort of what we're all aiming to get one day. It's a long time coming. It's a very long time coming. Absolutely gorgeous. Worth the wait? Worth the wait. Absolutely worth the how, wait. How long have you been waiting to get one of those? Oh, God, ever since they came into the hobby. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen them for sale very often. Um, and then a very good friend of mine, unfortunately, had to uh, move some of his collection on. And when he sent me the list, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be beans on toast for the uh, for the rest of the month. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it is so, so worth it. You're hoping to pair these up, breed them. It would be nice to breed them. Um, I never count my chickens. Um, I'm just fortunate that um, I have got this female. I've got another female. Um, and as I say, I've got three males of varying sizes. So to have the opportunity to at least give it a go, that's good enough for me. Um, it'd be great if I could be successful, but it's all a little bit of learning. Um, Panther beaters, I've never been too much into. Um, so... To work with these and to be able to give it a go is just amazing. 
So even though you've gone from kind of keeping spiders to breeding and selling, you're still very grounded, aren't you? It's still very hobbyist. <laughs> the hobbyist, just hobbyist selling spiders. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny because uh, these spiders came in and you're like, oh, that's going to be amazing. They're going to look great at the London show. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not selling these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just testing the water to see if it worked. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, one of the males. Uh, a note that we're actually putting this one in a 9 litre bra blast. Um, this is because once he matures, we don't want him just constantly wandering and wandering and wandering and wearing himself down. Um, so we're going to keep him in here. Um, I believe this male is penultimate. Uh, so penultimate means uh, one molt away from its final molt. Um, I'm hoping so. Uh, because by the time this female molts again, he should be just about ready to go into that final molt and then mature. So fingers crossed. It all um, goes to plan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with spiders, uh, it doesn't usually go to plan, but we can hope. <laughs> so this male <coughs> is stunning. He is more recently Better looking molted. than the female? Uh, he is actually, I, I would say he is better looking than the female and um, I think last time I had a little look at him he showed me a little bit of attitude um, Is he going to behave today? I'm not so sure Please give Luke attitude, come on mate you can do it See they, they do this where they just won't move and then Bump. all of a sudden There we go <laughs> yeah, got me a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so he, what he's actually doing here is he's making posture. himself look big. Yeah, boom in the air. And then he's not playing ball just yet. He's hunkering down. Obviously, you use tongs instead of the old yeah he's, paintbrush. Um, um, I take it you just prefer prefer that. Um, yeah, I mean, I the, the tongs um, work absolutely fine for me. Um, I've never actually really used the paintbrush. So you see what he's doing here is just trying to make himself look big. He is stunning and <laughs> imposing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that carapace is really shining. But he he's not so keen on coming out of this box. He he really isn't. See how he's really stretching his legs out. Yeah, yeah. My God, are we gonna? And it's also interesting to know that none of these have kicked airs yet, and I'm saying that as my face is right here towards his back end. So I'm hoping he's not <laughs> the first. He's beautiful, absolutely stunning. But I suppose it's one thing ordering and saying, "Yeah, I'll, I'll have them," but when you get them in. Right in oh. front of you. He really doesn't want to come out of this box. We're going to lower that down a little bit. <sighs> and straight back in. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how it works as a defence, really. <laughs> I know, yeah. It must work against something. It so does. It, it, must, it must in the wild. But he does not want to come out of this little box whatsoever. We're going to... Now he's starting to spread his uh, crenalia just there, his fangs. You might see when he comes over to you. Oh, he's in. Oh, wow. He is in. We should put the flash on her, uh, on him. <gasps> wow. Yeah, like, I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally blown away. I really am. Wow. It's, it's almost as if <laughs> with the orange on the legs and the red abdomen hair, but then it's like it cracks into the carapace. And I mean, even to the uh, crenelia at the front, which holds the fangs. Ah, yeah. Luke, I, I, do, yeah. I, I haven't got words. I really have not got words. <laughs> I've, I mean, I've seen pictures of these guys, but to see them in person, wow, they, they really are something else. I mean, so we got a, a big delivery of spiders as i say from a good friend and it was including these and me and my dad we got here we, we put the box down and we went from and i don't think we spoke 
We did not speak. We went through box and box, and I was oh, shining my little he's, torch. He's as moving. Well. I'm coming back down there. <laughs> I mean, it's almost pink. It is pink, actually. The starburst and the carapace there. It goes yeah. from the orange to the pink on the carapace. Oh. Yeah. He he takes the cherry. I mean, in this instance, I think he's a little more purier than the female. Um, they aren't too sexually dimorphic. Uh, it is simply because he is more freshly malted, so his colours are a lot brighter. The females do look the same. Uh, when the males mature, they have got fluffier texture, and they're almost more pink, I like to say, than the uh, orange. Or from the pictures I've seen, I've never seen a mature male in person. So, wow. So just before we end this video, um, wow. I'm uh, blown away. Honestly, I'm sitting here like, wow! I'm forgetting that you're recording this. I'm forgetting this oh, no, video. Oh no! Wow. But sorry, yeah, go ahead. Um, just before we end, then, I what stock are you taking to the London show? Is there going to be anything like a bit different, <laughs> a bit wow, a bit? Um, ooh. there will be some new bits. Yep, there's a few extra bits. Um, so. If you're familiar with us at Spire Spiders or you've tuned in to some of the live streams I've done with Scott, um, next month is the BTS. Uh, the BTS show is actually held just five minutes down the road from where we live. It's the first show that me and my dad uh, attended when I was around 13, 14. Um, it's the first show that we sold at. So, especially for the BTS, we're carrying some really nice spiders. Um, we've been keeping some spiders all year round. And, of course, BTS, mystery boxes. We're doing mystery boxes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, a one-time year that we do the mystery boxes. Um, <laughs> but there is a few things that we're taking with us to the London show. Um, so, yeah, we hope to see some of you guys there. And with your mystery boxes, you just lose money on them, don't you? Well, that's why we're doing once a year. Yeah. <laughs> and Daddy Spa, oh, my God. Does he go mad with, when you go mystery boxes for BTS? And do, do, well, and, and is it blame Scott Simpson every time? He is very supportive of the uh, mystery boxes for, for BTS as long as they're just for BTS. <laughs> <laughs> but my word, absolutely gorgeous. So I mean, it's been um, a little bit of a busier day today. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to get through. Uh, got a lot of rehousing to do. Um, so maybe with some of the other spiders that I've got here and some of the other stuff we're going to rehouse, maybe we can carry them on to another video. Oh, Luke, there, there is some stunning stuff. I mean, stunning. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, that would be incredible. Let me just go back down to him. Just look. <laughs> So that's the end of today's video. Um, we have got a couple more coming out with Luke and Spar Spiders. Show on Sunday. Luke's going to be there. We are, can't wait. Can't wait. Thank to the collectives there. Yeah, God, yeah looking forward to, to, to actually meeting him in person. Um, live went pretty well with him. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting guy. So it'd be fun to meet up. I'm looking forward to the show. It should be. Should be pretty interesting. I mean, especially now, like they've took it up a gear, and there seems to be a lot more going on at these shows and all the rest of it. Instead of just walk around tables, instead of it just being kind of a tarantula market, it's got really interactive, really fun. Yeah. All the rest of it. There's some um, good talks, and I think I think bringing Richard down from the US to do his speech, I think that's pretty impressive. And I've seen a picture of the hall. Uh, I don't know if I was meant to have seen a picture of the hall, but the hall looks wicked. And the first capital show, yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. Well, thank you very, very much for letting us pop over yet again. You're welcome. <laughs> and then those spiders, man. I mean, that, 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 that was only a couple of things that he's got in. Um, I highly, highly suggest that if you go to one of the shows, go check out Spa Spiders Table. Um, but thank, thank you again you. for watching, subscribing and all the rest of it. Um, if you like this type of content that we're doing today, again, drop Drop a comment down below, drop a like, all the rest of it. Um, well, yeah, thank you yeah. guys very much. We're just uh, waiting for a couple of burgers and then uh, back to work. We're going to uh, smash out a bit more housing and um, get a few more things done. But yeah, we need to fill up the bellies. We haven't eaten yet, so uh, we got the beer. 
we've got the burgers on the way and I guess there's only one thing left to say is there is um, we'll uh, see you again on the next <laughs> one <laughs>